Hi guys, it's me Andrea and I'm here with another ATC German for Beginners and I start um, with a drawing, a very simple one um, even though I'm erasing a lot as you can see, starting here with my pencil and draw a cup, a coffee cup. Not happy with the saucer here, hmm, have to correct that. I'm working on watercolour paper, heavy watercolour paper, because I want to use my Aquablends. So um, what inspired me to do this was actually a wallpaper I saw recently. <laughs> there were different coffee themed pictures on or, or drawing on, so um, that inspired me to do that and um, drawing down this cup and some coffee beans and um, of course the subject here on my card is word related to the word of course I'm using here um, a black liner to go over the lines and afterwards I will erase everything and then I start to colorize it with my um, Aqua blends. There are watercolor pencils, and um, draw draw it down here. Saturate the edges, and or on on the edge here. I'm using it a bit lighter. That depends on how dark I want to have it. Go over with my water tank brush to blend it out. Drag it. Um, here on the main bit on the cup into the middle that I have the middle a bit lighter and the the edges a bit darker to get a bit depth on it. Of course the coffee will be darker definitely and of course the word I want to teach you today to teach you here yeah? I'm a teacher <laughs> I think I'm getting a, a German teacher, am I? Well, yeah. Okay, is Kaffee Klatsch. Um, Kaffee Klatsch, yeah, it's a funny word. It's Kaffee, coffee. Kaffee is German for coffee. And it's one word again. You know, we always have these long words in German. It's not that long, but we have these long words. So um, it's coffee. And Klatsch means to clap. Um, and it means to clap but in this case it means it comes from klatschen not as in clapping it comes from gossipen klatsch und tratsch in german is gossip you know when you're sitting together and you gossip or bitchen <laughs> not no not not in that negative way a coffee klatsch is a, a coffee chat chat at the coffee table something like that and of course you're gossiping that's what you do but that's what we say when we are meeting up for a coffee clutch I think it's not longer used that much um, I think the young people don't use it anymore we used it of course in the past a lot I wouldn't use it for myself meeting up with friends for a coffee you know definitely not but it is not that old that people wouldn't know what it means definitely not so my my mom she had a coffee clutch regular with friends so in that generation it was definitely used a lot and that what it means coffee clutch uh so quite funny it sounds very hard doesn't it coffee clutch <laughs> but it's a nice thing sitting together with friends and having coffee and often it's not only coffee it's often with cake as well so it's a nice thing actually sounds a bit harsh but it is nice okay and you get the latest gossip what happens in your area in your village in wherever okay so I'm going on here with my um, aqua blends and um, get a bit of depth into because it's only watercolor media it is of course flat to me I'm used to mixed media I'm used to a lot of texture I said that before and when I only use watercolor media to me it's always so flat and I'm always trying to do something to get more depth into or visual 
texture or so. It's it's awful, I know. So a bit of white um, highlights here and there with my Posca. That's it already. I put the word down, Kaffee Clutch, and as usual, I can't decide where to put it. Of course, I could write it down that it would fit nicer, but I yeah, challenge myself to use mainly my, my old-fashioned label maker here, so I will try to stick to it. Why not? So I will always find a place. The problem is I have sometimes to cover up stuff I drew and, yeah, but that's, ugh, it's an ATC, come on. It's only a bit of, to me, it's teaching you German and getting drawing practice, isn't it great? So we both benefit from it. Fantastic. Um, basically, that's it. I, yeah, make a bit of marks here, here and there on the lines, this mixed media marks and, and little, little signs. So it looks a bit more whimsical. And here is the close-up already. So, guys, thanks a lot for watching. I hope you liked it today. And I hope I will see you soon with my next project. So, have a fantastic time, guys. Bye-bye.